Right, so welcome everyone. I'm delighted today to have a special guest, Jeanette McPetrie, coming to join us today. She's from Focus Open Mind, which is an awesome name for a business, and I actually love her logo too, which looks great. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so Jeanette's going to be sharing a, a thing about focusing on, you know, really about. Um, we tend, a lot of women, I think especially, but people tend to self-sabotage. We get, aim for goals and don't always get there because we somehow, we stop ourselves, which is, seems crazy. So we're gonna get a bit of an inside of that with Jeanette's presentation today. So I might hand over to you, Jeanette, to, um, to, to kick off and welcome. Okay, well, welcome. And thank you, Vivian, for the invitation to, uh, to spend um, a magic, 30 minutes with yourself Marvelous. and uh, those on board. Yes. And for those that listen to the recording, welcome us also. Um, for those here live, um, there's a chat box there and I'd love you to um, feel free to chat and I'm going to pose some questions. Please answer and, and don't get splinters sitting on the fence there, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, another thing I can give is that if you, in the top right hand corner, you've got a little, a, a full screen mode. There's some arrows. Now this depends on the device you're on, but if you come out of the full screen and click on down the bottom, you've got a toolbar, you've got chat. And if you click on that, it'll come to the right side. Now that's how I, it appears and it appears for Jeanette. And it's a good idea to mute your microphone so that when Jeanette's talking, we won't have live questions, but we'll take them in the, in the chat. And, and Jeanette will be able to follow those and ask when it's appropriate. Fantastic. And I also Fantastic. have the controls to mute people as well. So we've got <laughs> a few things. <laughs> I'm going to go mute and I'll hand back to you, Jeanette. Thanks, Linda. Um, yeah, thank you, Pauline. Thank you, Linda, for being here today. And, and uh, it's a pleasure to be on Vivian's show. Um, yeah, for starters, I'm, I'm just going to um, open up and just hit you with a a string of questions and I just want to have a feel from where you're coming from. Have you ever had a goal or a dream in life uh, that you've just never achieved or have you had a re relationships where you just feel you just feel disconnected or in business um, have you uh, pulled back worrying about charging for money or uh, another one is um, have you berated yourself, like giving yourself a hard time? I know I, I have and I still do. I'm still learning on this journey. Um, and it's an awesome journey. But we don't help ourselves when we give ourselves a hard time. <laughs> um, have you ever held yourself back and procrastinated, self-sabotaged? Because today we're going to learn a little bit about getting that under wraps. Um, yeah, and, and promised yourself tomorrow will be different. How often do we say, oh, it'll be better tomorrow. We'll have a better day tomorrow. So if you've answered yes to any of those, do you want to just sort of pop something in the chat and, um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, share with me. Um, yeah, so if you've ever had a voice to say you've had enough, well, you are in the right spot today. And if you're listening to this recording, please stay tuned. Um, and let's discover how you can uh, make amends on some of your patterns. So if I just have a, a quick chat, is it all right to, to mention your names or do you just want me to read out the answers? Uh, what are you happy with, Pauline and Linda? Yeah. Oh, we've, we've swapped places. Yeah. So is that okay or...? or um, well, I'll just read out in the meantime uh, what what you've got. So that's uh, money. Often is a big is a big thing. Fine, that's great. Um, have set some numerous goals, but times haven't haven't been achieved. I guess lots of reasons. Yes, sure. Charging. Got a business coach. Yep. No, fantastic. So there is. Yep. So so you you can tick. Some of, some of those things where we are where we are holding ourselves back from being our true self. So in just for today, I'd just like to um, 
uh, just get a, a brief little helicopter ride what we're going to do. And we're just going to have a, a quick look at what they call a IAMNIS triad. triad. And this was produced by um, Sharon Pearson at the Coaching Institute, where I've studied and where I'm continuing to study. Um, I'm nearly three years in doing masters and loving the journey. I've been full time, but I'm backing off now to get crank my business up. Um, and I'll continue with the studies because I want to stay there as a, a lifelong learner for at the moment to keep updating because the, the knowledge is, is just gold and I'm enjoying the journey immensely with the community that that we have um, amongst us all as students. Um, so as as well as that, and by the way, Sharon is developed the Coaching Institute and she's internationally renowned as a um, as a a coach um, and for her um, pioneer of metadynamics which is the coaching methodology that uh, we've all learnt. So I'd just like to give a good rap for Sharon because it's been a fantastic journey um, and I've come a long way with her and and the, the team, the WOW team that we have there for support. So also I'd like to just have a little quick chat on with regards to the connection with our um, conditioning from childhood and and how we go from um, they sort of yeah they they tell us like who to you know sort of what we can do who we can be and and how and you know sort of how how we are allowed to act and we carry that through to adulthood so there is a a relationship between our conditioning and our self-sabotaging. So, so I'd just like to ask permission, first of all, uh, that, you know, I can pitch um, at the end of the uh, session with regards to a, a full bloom event coming up um, that Rebel is uh, behind. Um, and that's on March, on Saturday the 17th in Baradine. So I'd really... If you are around or have a chance to come along, um, yeah, we'd love to see you there to help make the day. Uh, and and also, if something's resonating with you, that at the end that I'll I'll uh, I'll give you a plug and uh, would like to have a chat with you if something's resonating. And sometimes I I get excited about this message, so please forgive me. I trust that's okay. <laughs> All right, so. Let's start off with um, the fact that we all take time. We all take time to look after our physical health. Like we clean our teeth, we do our hair. Men take the time to shave every day or most or some, some don't, but <laughs> let's hope they clean their teeth. Um, and women, you know, we, we're fanatical about shaving our legs or or whatever, or, or going the full hog, if some some like that. But we really take care. So, but how many of us really take care of our inner self? What's really happening inside us? Are we are we achieving our full potential? So, how much gas have you got in the fuel? You know, in your fuel tank to keep going and pushing ahead to get that last drop of fuel to achieve your your biggest dreams. 75% of us in society actually live below the line. So if you picture a, picture a line and then so many people above, live above the line and then below the line is 75%. And that 75% are not taking responsibility for their life. So, and when we're above the line, we're taking responsibility 100%. And we're being at cause with ourselves. We're taking the decisions. We're making the choices to go ahead. And below the line is, is where we are full of blame uh, and victim mentality and we're full of guilt and shame. And uh, we don't bring our best out when we're down there. And we're losing our creativity when we're down there. Up above the line is where we find that creativity to push ahead and reach our dreams. So... Um, are you performing? So I'd like to pop in the chat, you know, are you, how many of you are performing at your peak, peak level? 
yeah. Do you think you've got more in the in the tank, Pauline and Linda? Vivian, how are you? Are you uh, you got more in that tank? I think I'm <laughs> You're doing pretty well with the, with the business. <laughs> well, I think it's about it's because I've made decisions only recently over the last three years, and particularly to focus more yeah. on me and you know learn to meditate and I regularly meditate. Do you, and is that do you think meditation is one of those ones for the tank? I think it is. I meditate every day, lunchtime. I do a 45-minute meditation. I've found one that I I really uh, gel with yeah. and I love yeah. it. So I every lunchtime I, I take that, as, as rushed as I am, I take that 45 minutes out. And it's, it's great for bringing that cortisol level down and, and feeding your mind dopamine. And that's mm -hmm. what we really want. Uh -huh. so, yeah. um, there's, a, there's a quote by Mandela. Um, that goes, um, if you want, um, yeah, yeah, there is no passion in playing small, in settling for a life that is is um, is less than the one you're capable of living. So I, I, lo I love that quote. And we are all programmed negatively. So, yeah, we, we automatically go to the negative. So we've really got to be in tune with ourselves to to create patterns and habits of, of being positive and stepping up there. If I'd like to share a, um, there's a, a woman, a TED talk that I listened to, Lana Kay. She was a, um, her family were refugees from a, a war torn country, fled to London. And she says, the same thoughts create the same emotion that creates the same action, which gets the, the same results and then get the same thoughts and the cycle of creation continues. I just love that because we just get stuck in that rut. So who here feels sometimes they get stuck into a rut? Anyone? So I'll just, uh, I'll wait for some comments and try and come back there. Um, you see a lot of people wait for circumstances to change on the outside. But life doesn't happen like that. It happens on the inside. And that's where we create change. So um, the question I'm going to ask is, who decides the life we live? Yeah, who decides the life we live? So I'm just reading I think I do with certain things, procrastination, yeah. So you're holding yourself back? Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. Well, we're, I'm guilty. I, I'm still on this journey of, of creating um, fantastic habits. I'm, I, I, I don't, uh, I'm one not to believe in goals, but what I look at is standards uh, because that's the action. We can have our goals, but it's our standards that develop our habits. So, um, yeah, so what I'd like you to do right this minute, right now, is actually picture and draw a line in the sand that you're going to step up above that line and take responsibility from today on. Um, don't wait for all the ducks to line up before you jump on board. Little mother duck doesn't wait to get her ducks all in line before she crosses a busy traffic road, she jumps in into the uncertainty of getting those ducks across to achieve her goal. So it's sort of say yes and work out how on the way. And what I just would like to run is it's, it's okay in life to drop the mask. It's okay in life to be vulnerable. And it's okay to have flaws. We're not all perfect. And it's okay to be human. And what I'm saying is, it's okay to be where we are, we are, where we are at today. Because where we're at today, um, and, and what choices in life, and, and our habits, and everything that we've done, we've done to survive in life from what we've learned in childhood. And thank, like, I'm a big one on gratitude and thank yourself of where you are today and, and thank for everything that you have. 
And we don't have all the answers. And I'm hoping, I'd, I'd love to be able to create a group, a following, to come on a journey with me as a group and put together a group and take our time in, in going through um, a model and unpacking everything that we'll cover in Baradine. Um, the I am the striad that I'll cover in a minute. If you could throw that throw that up, Vivian, that'd be fantastic. Sure can will do. Um, yeah, there's, so it's a journey to take a journey to take our time. With it's we don't get all the answers overnight. Um, so I want you to embrace and look forward to you the you that you want to be. So the I amness tried. How many of you can actually tick each quality that's that you can see up in front of you at the moment? Can you tick that a hundred percent without thinking twice that you have self-worth, that you are lovable and that you are enough? So the meaning behind these, um, I'll just keep going. I'll, I'll I'll just um, define what Sharon Pearson defines these as because this is her her little way of um, a model that she's come up with. So to have self worth is to have a sense that I am worthy of love, care, respect, respect of your time, of good things, of challenges, and anything else that life has to offer. So in four, I'm lovable. I don't have to do anything to win love. Love doesn't come with conditions. I'm not measured by how much I do for someone else and I receive it for being me. So, and the last one, I am enough. She defines that one is, I can handle what happens. I can handle the challenges the uncertainty life throws at me and not knowing all the answers. I don't avoid making mistakes as I learn from them. I'm not ashamed of my flaws and it's saying I'm human, that's enough. So after hearing those, um, I might, uh, so I can see the chat box again, Vivian, we might take that take that one down who can um who can actually say now having listened to that they can tick one or two or all of those boxes so I'll just um bring my chat up Yeah. Are you happy so to if you, everyone and take their mic at this stage, Jeanette? Yeah, that might be easier because the chats, the time delay is You can, uh, you can type chat if you don't feel comfortable with your mic, but if you do, um, that's, and certainly um, like of someone's got here possibly one or bits of others. And yeah, I, for me, I feel loved. And I think that really makes a big difference to all the others as well. So I suppose it's that triangle, one influences the other two, perhaps, Jeanette. Yeah, well, definitely on the, um, you know, I, I have self-worth, you know, if, if we don't have self-worth, we find it hard to love, love ourselves. Yeah. So they are internet, you know, interconnected. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the being, and the being enough. Yeah, being yeah. enough is probably the challenge, a bit of a perfectionist. So yep. that can delay things because you're trying to get it to be perfect before you do it. To be perfect, be right. Yeah. Um, and, and the part there with regards to, you know, accepting our flaws and getting out there and, and not having to be perfect. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay not to be, to be perfect. And it's okay to be you. Yeah. <laughs> so these are, this is only sort of just a, a touch, a beginning um, with this model, but at Baradine we'll, we'll discuss other models and go a lot deeper into it. But with just half an hour, I just picked this one. 
um, because it goes back it goes back to the um, the self sabotage um, and and if we just bring back onto our tribe and by our tribe what I'm meaning is our our, our magical big people our carers our parents everyone involved with with us as a as a child and the more the, or, or actually I'll start with the less the less inner world of all that of what was on the triangle that our tribe have uh, the more rigid they are and the more uncertain in life they are and, and feel like they're not accepted in the world as much so and if you look at the contrast where our big people our magical big people have got embrace a lot more inner world well then they appear in life like more adaptable um uh yeah and and flexible in life so then therefore they have a lesser impact of the negative sources that are around them um that affect them does that make sense yeah, I'm a bit yeah. curious about the big people. What do you mean by that? Big magical big people. I just call them magical big people. That's your your carers. Because as a child, when we're child, every we we're allowed to have magical thinking, and so big people, whatever they do, is magic. When you're a child, <laughs> and and we carry that forward. That is our conditioning into adulthood. And and actually, at Baradine, um, and anyone wanting to do any uh, work with me there's there's a great thing with regards to I amness traits and denied traits and it's just fantastic stuff that as a child we have these uh, four traits and magical thinking is one and and in these four traits we've actually got to learn to grow out of those and maintain um, their, their our other I amness traits like curiosity spontane spontaneity and, and all the things that, that are crushed as a child. And so in adulthood, we've actually hidden and, and, and have crushed our, our things that come natural to us as child are, are pushed down. And, and majority of us don't grow out of the child states and we carry that forward. So in Baradine, we'll go into that in a lot deeper. Um, it's really interesting, interesting things. But just for today, for... Um, for time, um, the, our tribe's influences, what we take on board is what we believe and how we act. So when it goes back to goal setting, it's our, if our conditioning is not in line with the goals we are trying to reach, we will sabotage, we, we will sabotage ourselves. So it's, we, we, we must take that journey and, and find our true selves so that um, we stop reacting to our conditioning and take charge of our life so that we then can go forward and, and attain our goals. So there's a lot of work to be done underneath. Um, if you imagine sort of a line or a wave and then on top of that you've got your goals, all the points from your goals to your results and if you don't get to the results, it's, it's what's happening under the wave and it goes back and it starts back at your tribal cycle, which is where your, um, your magical big people come in and your needs and if your needs are not met as a child. And there's a whole range of stuff to look in. But just for the day, the, uh, the um, takeaway thing is if your conditioning is not in alignment with your goals, that's when you self-sabotage. So, and, and that's when things, you feel that uncomfortable, uncomfortable feeling. And, and that's why so many people quit. Um, and they tell themselves if they're trying to do something, oh, well, it doesn't matter. You know, if you get frustrated with something and you, you're not achieving, oh, it doesn't matter. And then, and then they turn around and convince themselves, oh, it's not important anyway. So it's all this self-talk and and then we put ourselves down and then we give up of not achieving what our true self and and what we can do 
if we start looking inside at what really um, drives us, and that is the internal world. It's not what you have in the world. The, the whole idea is not what you achieve or, or have in the physical world. It's finding out who you are so that you can achieve um, what you're meant to achieve in life. So what I'd like to be able to take people on the journey is to learn how to love themselves, how to be enough, and how to have self-worth and, and really build that self-esteem up because we all have it within us. We all have those traits that were squashed um, as, as we were growing up. And it's not to blame our parents. It, the tribal cycle is started from generation after generation after generation. You could go back five generations and the same cycle appears in each family because that's what they've learned. And that's how they've grown up with their rules their tribal rules. So until we learn to look at ourselves and, and stop the tribal cycle, the cycle will continue in your family and the family after you and the family after that. So it's time to step up and take responsibility. Yeah, and I think part so, of it, it's not just family too, Jeanette, it's probably community in many ways. Exactly, mm. yes. If you look at the bigger picture. Mm. But a ripple effect is we start with ourselves and then we start with our family. I'm, I'm not married, I don't have children, so it doesn't affect me. Um, but I want to create that ripple and, and um, carry a group of people through, like with regards to packages that I'm offered, that I will offer. Um, so people can learn how to put a stop to it in their, in their family, to stop the tribal cycle. Yeah. For, so, and it's very important that you don't think with regard to the thinking, oh, I'll do it for my children. It starts for doing it for yourself. Otherwise, you're just continuing the tribal cycle of people pleaser and, and everything else. So you've got to do it for you. Um, three steps that I've brought it down to attain these qualities is one, say yes to you. So today we drew, a land, we drew a line in the sand to step up for responsibility. So now it's time to say yes to you, you matter. It's time to find that ultimate self. So stop reacting to your conditioning. It's time to stop living below your potential. It's time to start acting and, and go for those dreams that you dream of. So step up because you can do it. Step two, act. Gain a cognitive understanding and that you can do, like come to Baradine and start learning uh, why you are like you are and what's influencing you, what's holding you back. Um, so say no to your tribal cycle. And then step three is give yourself permission to feel to heal. And Actually, I was on a webinar last night and I really liked what um, the person said, is that when we, um, when we don't accept being vulnerable, we shut down our feelings. And I, I thought I could really relate to that one because I shut out my feelings. I, until three years ago when I started this journey with the Coaching Institute, so I'm getting a bit emotional there. Um, I couldn't feel. I was just, um, I was there, but I wasn't there. I didn't have the feelings. And now, <laughs> now they just um, flow. But um, I'm, loving, I'm loving the journey. <clears throat> so, sorry about that one. No, that's okay. <laughs> and it shows the journey you've been on, Jeanette. And look, many it's been amazing. Have been on lots of journeys on our own individual journeys. And yeah, and that's what I'd yeah. like to to encourage because the vulnerability takes courage. Yes, it really does. To to really um, drop the masks, uh, drop the roles of, uh, and stop acting in a role. Like if you've got a role where you're in charge of something or in control of something. It's being able to let that role go and go, okay, I'll put that role over there, but now I'm going to start looking at myself yes. without that power control role. Yeah. 
and really dig deep and find out who who you are. And, um, and, 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 success, as and success only comes with action. Mm. And that action is up to you. Um, don't wait for the confidence to arrive. Just um, say yes to you. Embrace the uncertainty and have fun. It's a journey. And it's not a journey that you're going to gain overnight. You're not going to get all the answers. We don't have all the answers. I certainly don't. Um, it's a journey to take your time, find out, you know, sort of who you are, get used to the, the feelings that maybe you've hidden um, and start feeling them so you can heal. And, and, and being able to talk to someone, to talk through things that, that have happened in your life to, to, um, to start feeling. As I said, I love the word feel to heal. Um, so what better time than now to say and, and start the journey and say yes to you. So um, we're getting short of time. Sorry, I've gone over. We started a bit late, didn't we, Vivian? Yeah. <laughs> it's very powerful. So I do want to share uh, the contact details. Are you happy for me to do that? Now? Yeah. I'm yeah. oh, just not quite sure. Just in a minute. Um, yes. I've had several people ask me how they can share, how they can share, share this journey, you know, that they're stuck in their old patterns. So, um, you know, if, if you want to join this journey of self-discovery and you don't want to be held back anymore, you can jump on board and, and gain the benefits and learn, um, yeah, learn your, how to have self-worth and learn again how to be lovable and how to be enough and it's for you life is not about what you get on the in outside it's what's on the inside and it's 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 about growing and accepting yourself and again accepting the flaws we're not perfect we're human beings i know you want to step up and believe you matter but only you can take the action to reach your full potential. So if you want to learn and, and dig deeper, um, please join me at Baradine. And I'll try not to uh, cheer up. <laughs> so for those truly um, interested and, and Baradine's too far away, uh, my details, yeah, if you could throw them up, Vivian, um, please contact me. I'll have a... Um, a free consult session for those that contact me. Uh, I'd love to. Um, I'd love to share, and and I'd love people to jump on board and become part of a group that we can work together on Facebooks on a Facebook closed group, and um, it will be a safe group and webinars and depending on uh, what level that you want to um, come on board with. So what is the value of your life? So uh, a Baradine ticket, I've kept it quite minimal just to cover costs. I'm coming from Victoria, um, Beechworth. It's a nine hour drive for me, but I want to spread this ripple like I want to create a ripple across Australia. So um, yeah, so for yourself, say yes to you and, and come on board. If you um, want to make the change, it's up to you. What you focus on is what you get. So, and I also, if you seek approval too much of asking permission from others in your family, if you can come, I commit, I, like I, I question your commitment to yourself. It's your life. You make the decision. So I'm, I'm sort of saying, well, yeah, today's at an end. So make the decision that your future self will thank you for and um take the first step come on board and uh thank you vivian for today it's been fantastic <laughs> thanks uh, linda pauline for being on board and um i'm hoping that the uh recording will influence people to think of think again about themselves to look after that inner side not just the physical on the outside and doing the hair and pretending everything's all right <laughs> All yours, Vivian. 
feel free to ask any questions that you've got. And look, I'll just say how um, it's really exciting that um, Jeanette's coming all the way to Baradine for those um, who can come this way. But also we have the recording. I'm just going to come back to the, the PowerPoint and just share, share that on a bigger screen. Um, now, so we have what's called the Rural Woman Full Bloom. We've got a whole event, we've got an exhibition, and we've got a whole lot of workshops. So Jeanette's on at nine o'clock on that day. And so we have lots of options of different ones. And so we thought it'd be great for people to have a taste and an idea of what it's about. And you've certainly got that. And certainly, look, Jeanette, I'm, you're so powerful with what your message today, you know, and saying how we need to be vulnerable. You showed that there's nothing wrong with being vulnerable and that's all about that growth of change, isn't it? To, to it is. Out. And and it's and it's that finding your true self because it's your true self, it's your inner it's the inner part of what drives you. Yes. And that's where it comes back to self sabotage. Yeah. If that's not in alignment, you will self sabotage. And it will follow you wherever you go until you deal with the three things to be able to accept that you are lovable, you are enough and you are self-worthy. And I yeah. suppose if you're working from something that's built up, as you're saying, from early childhood, that there's a lot, there's a whole life experience that's just confirmed that negativity, if you know, yep. that is there. So therefore it needs a whole, you know, a fair bit of time, as you say, to get things through. So, you know, we've just done a tiny, tiny little taste. But, but I've heard, it's, 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 <laughs> I, there was so much, there's so much gold that I wanted to share. I, I, I really struggle with what piece to pick out to share today. And I just went back to that I amness because when we go back to the, that I amness triad in life and we focus on the internal, everything else in life just takes its, you know, happens. Yeah, you know we don't have to focus as much on it. It just, it it just follows. Yes, yeah. because our self esteem's in place. We can handle things when challenges come up. Yeah, so to, to actually book into something like that, I might just run through that really briefly. If you go to uh, vivianevans.com.au and then follow this link, it is under live events for those who registered for that for our live at lunch. It then has a whole you know, for quite a bit of information. And this page is alive. It keeps changing. I'm regularly doing it. So you look at the different workshops, they coincide, I've tried to have it that you have your options set, session one. Each workshop actually has its own price because it depends on what's being offered and what's happening. Uh, so if you wanted to register, you click on the register link and then follow that process. So you can have a look without registering, see more detail of each event. Uh, we've got a whole host of stuff. We've got fantastic stuff about health and working with your, when you work with a, a doctor or making lip balm. We've got permaculture. We've got a whole th art therapy workshop that's happening in the afternoon. And there's another one of conflict resolution, which is another awesome one. That detail has to come up. And if you want to subscribe to the updates, fill in your name and you'll get automations of that. So I've got a really, really exciting program. It started off being around an art exhibition and it grew from there. So we've got, <laughs> we thought if people are coming to exhibit and look at the exhibits, we, we invited a whole lot of the rural women and Jeanette stepped up to be one of those awesome women. So absolutely delighted to have this, um, this opportunity. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. No, thank you to <laughs> Julie. Um, I'm not sure which Julie it is that's joined um, through the session so thank you Julie and thank you Pauline Linda for being here today and Vivian thank you for inviting me again it's been a great a great <laughs> <My experience>. pleasure <laughs> my thank absolute you. pleasure okay so I'm going to stop the sharing of the screen and yes awesome thank you so much everyone for joining us and have a wonderful day uh, and a brilliant week ahead and I will be putting the recording up um, on the on that website Vivian Evans under live events we have podcasts and recordings so you've got access to those so there's lots of ways that we can tap into the amazing stuff of entrepreneurial and innovative women and Jeanette's certainly one of those so thanks for being my guest yeah. my pleasure thank you <laughs>
<laughs> so I'm here in, in Varadine as well. So it's really exciting to be pulling this whole event together and, and making it happen through connecting and collaborating, which is what I love to do. Fantastic. And thank you for putting the work and effort and yourself and Rebel. It's been fantastic. Absolute pleasure. Okay. Have a great day, thank everyone. You. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.